so good morning sir good morning classmates so for today's video we are going to present our um task which is the dempster shepherd theory of evidential reasoning by growth number nine so So, what is Dempster Schaeffer? When we say Dempster Schaeffer, it was first introduced by Arthur P. Dempster and the context statistical inference and later was developed by Glenn Schaeffer into a general framework for modeling epistemic, epistemic uncertainty and a general framework for reasoning with uncertainty with understood connections to other frameworks such as probability, possibility, and imprecise probability theories. Then, a generalized scheme for expressing uncertainty. So, it considers sets of, of and designs to each set and interval within which the degree of belief for the set must lie and it is often described as a as an extension of the probability theory or a generalization of the bayesian theory or inference method and last it is a belief function or it is called as bell function represented in a degree of belief and it is also referred to as mass no then we have here the dempster shepherd theory of evidential reasoning so evidential reasoning when we say evidential reasoning it is a belief or bell ranges from zero to one where zero indicates no evidence and one indicates on having evidence so evidential reasoning also is bell p bell p huh, is a measure of the evidence for p so bell not p bell or not p is a measure of the evidence against p okay together bell P and bell not p they defined a belief interval it is lower and upper bounds of confidence so it is also a mechanism for formalized by Schaeffer for representing and reasoning with uncertain and imprecise and incomplete information so it is based on Dempster, Dempster's original work and the modeling of uncertainty in terms of upper and lower probabilities that are induced by a multi-valued mapping rather than a single probability value. Okay, so we have here the probability theory limitations. Uh, assign, okay, the... Uh, the probability theory limitation are assign a single number to measure any situation and no matter how it is complex then the last one is cannot deal with missing evidence heuristics and limited knowledge so we have here also the dempster shepherd theory first is uh, extend probability theory no and second is Second is, second is consider a set of proportions as a whole then third assign a set of proportions and interval belief or plausibility to constrain the degree of belief for each individual propositions in the set so the belief measure bell is in zero to one or zero one okay so zero means no support evidence for a set of proportion i mean proposition so zero no zero has no support evidence then 
one has full support evidence for a set of proposition so the plausibility of p so please or p is equal to one and not p not del or not p so si please of p is equal one not del or not p okay then we have here the reflect reflect how evidence of not p relates to the possibility for belief in p then bell bell or not p is equal to one so it means full support for not p but no possibility for p then bell not p no not p is equal to zero means no support for not p so has but has full possibility for p and then range is also in zero to one so we have here the properties of dempster Schaeffer. initially no support evidence for either competing hypothesis and say h1 and h2 so dempster Schaeffer or it has built or please no is equal to zero on and one so probability theory p of h1 is equal p of h2 so is equal to 0 0.5 and then dempster Schaeffer belief functions satisfy weaker axioms than probability function so so fundamental ideas are first obtaining belief degrees for one question from subjective probabilities for related questions questions i mean and using dempster rule to combine these belief degrees when they are based on independent evidence okay so example two persons m and b with reliabilities detect a computer and claim the result independently so how would you believe their claims okay so questions question i mean or q detection claim and then related question or rq it is detect detectors reliability so Dempster Schaeffer approach are obtain belief degrees for Q from a subjective or the prior so probabilities for RQ for each person and then combine belief degrees from two persons so person M no claim H so reliability is zero point nine so the unreliability is zero point one then belief degree of h1 is bell or bell of h no is equal to zero point nine so the belief degree of not h is bell bell or not h is equal to 0, 0.0 so different from probability theory since no evidence supporting not h1 okay so p of h no is equal to 1 not bell of not h is equal to 1 not 0 but equals 1 so thus belief measure for m claim h is 0 0.9 and 1 then so person b claim h no and reliability 0 0.8 so the unreliability is 0 0.2 then bell of h is equal to 0 0.8 and bell of not h is equal zero and p of h is equal one not bell or not h is equal one not zero 
Okay? So, belief measure for B claim H is range to 0 0.8 and to 1. Combining belief measure. Set of proportion M claim claimed H1 and B claimed H2. Case 1. H1 equals H2. Reability and B equals to 0, 9 times 0 0.8 equals to 0 0.72. And variable and variability M and B equals to 0 0.1 times 0 0.2 equals to 0 0.02. The probability that at least one of the two variables equals to 1 minus 0 0.02 equals 0 0.98. Belief measure for H1 equals H2 is 0 0.98 and 1. Okay, that, 98. Case 2, H1 equals to so not H2, cannot be both correct and reliable. At least one is unreliable. Reliable M and unreliable B. 0 0.9 times 1 minus 0 0.8 equals 0 0.18. Reliable B and unreliable M equals 0 0.8 times 1 minus 0 0.1 equals to 0 0.08. And reliable M and B, uh, 1 minus 0 0.9 times 1 minus 0 0.8 equals 0 0.02. At least one is unreliable. 0 0.18 plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.02 equals to 0 0.28. Given at least one unreliable posterior probabilities, reliable M and unreliable B, 0 0.18 minus 0 0.28 equals 0 0.600. Reliable B and unreliable M, 0 0.08. Divided by 0 0.28 equals 0 0.486. Belief measure for H1. Bill H1 equals 0 0.643. Okay. Equals bill not H1. Equals bill H2. Equals 0 0.286. Okay. Place H1 equals 1 minus bell, not H1, equals 1 minus 286, equals to 714. Belief the belief measure for H1 is 0 0.643 and H1 may 0 0.714. Belief measure for H2. Bill H2 equals 0 0.486. I mean, H2 na. Bill equal, I, bill not H2 equals bill H1 equals 0 0.683. Place H2 equals 1 minus bill not H2 minus 1 minus 0 0.603 equals 0 
0.317 the belief measure for each two are 0.286 can it done and 0.317 may the this environment this symbol is called theta theta equals plus bracket 0 i theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 Taman sa theta n. The element are all mutually exclusive. All of the possible elements in the universe are in the set, and so the set is exhausted. Its subset of theta can be interpreted as a possible answer to the question. Since the element are mutually exclusive, and the environment is exhausted, there can be the only one correct answer to the question. The environment is called frame of discernment. Here its element may be interpreted as a possible answer and only one answer is correct. The D is probab D is versus probability. The D is theory, the degree of belief in the in evidence is analogous. Analog to the mass of the physical object as a uh, of evidence support of belief. Evidence measure by this measure okay. cunning sign equals to triple bar. Cunning meaning the name is almost equal na sila or identically amount of the mass is identically m identically basic the probability probability assignment or bpe fundamental difference between this theory and probability theory is the treatment of ignorance the principle at uh, p equals 1 over n the principle of evidence Non belief versus ignorance. The D is the that not does not force to belief to be assigned to ignorance. Instead, the mass of mass is assigned only to this subset of environment to which you wish you wish to assign of belief. Not assigned belief is equivalent to no belief or non belief. Should, should be associated with the environment theta and this belief is not equivalent to non-belief m1 equals to b if b and f equals 0 0.7 m1 not uh, m1 theta equals to 0 0.3 every set in the power of set, the environment which has a mass greater than zero is called a focal element. Good day, everyone. So, my report starts with DS mass or dumpster shifter mass. And mass is a function that maps each element of the power set into a real number in the zero one interval. Then, M is given with P of theta is equal to. 0 and 1. Then, by conversion, m of null is equals to 0. Then, sigma m of x is equals to 1 with a given of for all x, x is an element of p of theta. Then, combining evidence. First, read our data, m1 of b and f is equals to 0 0.7. Yeah, m1 of theta is equals to 0 
So, sa so second grader data, M2 of B is equals to 0 0.9. The M2 of theta is equals to 0 0.1. DS rule of combination. So, money siya ang formula or rule. So, first rule, the output of this combination rule is a set of evidential intervals or EI denoted EI is equals to bell Z or belief of Z and PLS Z or possibility of Z where bell of Z is the belief assigned to the proposition Z and PLS of Z is its possibility. The possibility is a measure of evidence that supports the hypothesis and is given by this formula. So, maunin. The next rule is extends over all elements whose intersection x intersection of y is equals to z. So, this symbol denotes the orthogonal sum or direct sum which is defined by summing the mass product intersection on the right hand, right hand side of the rule. Next is the new mass of is a consensus because it tends to favor agreement rather than disagreement. Then, graphical representation of evidential interval. So, morning bill X of PLS X. So, on 0 and 1, yung decision is total ignorance and no belief in support of X. Then, on 1 and 1, proposition X is completely true. Then, on 0 and 0, proposition X is completely false. So, for 0, 4, 0.4 and 1, partial belief and tends to support X. Then, 0 and 0 0.7, partial belief, disbelief and tends to refute x. Then, ang 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 both support and refute x. So, Dempster rule. First assumption. Probable questions are independent. Then, as new evidence collected the f and conflicts, independency may disappear. Sec next is two steps are First is, sort the uncertainties into a priori independent pieces of evidence, then carry out them to rule. Next is, consider the previous example. So, after M and B claim a repair person is called to check the computer, and both M and B witness this. So, three independent items of evidence must be combined. Next rule is, not all evidence is directly supportive of individual elements of a set of hypotheses, but often supports different subsets of hypotheses in favor of some and against others. General Dempster's Rule Q is an exhaustive set of mutually exclusive hypotheses. Ang Z is a subset of Q, then M, probability density function to assign a belief measure to Z. Then, MN of Z is a belief degree to Z, where N is the number of sources of evidence. So, money siya ang formula or general rule ni Dempster. So, here are the questions for, the, for this Reporting. So that would be all and thank you for listening in this report.